The question that plagues every movie lover around Christmas time, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Well, I'm here to tell you, we're gonna talk about it. So if you guys don't already subscribe to the channel, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get a notification every single time that I post a new video. I was on Facebook the other day and one of my friends was like, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And it was just, so much controversy about it. Like, so much. To be a Christmas movie, does it have to have more than just taking place during Christmas? Personally, I think no. I think that if something takes place during Christmas, it is a Christmas movie. I think to say that Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie would also say that Home Alone isn't a Christmas movie. Because Home Alone could take place at any other time. It wouldn't have had to take place during Christmas, but it does take place during Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Same as Die Hard, you know? One just has gunfire and another just has someone getting hit in the face with paint cans. So, I mean, tomato, tomato. Now, at the beginning of Die Hard, Bruce Willis is coming into town from the guy, the old lady at the airport is like, Merry Christmas, and she, he's bringing a teddy bear that's a, that's a Christmas gift, okay? So those are a bunch of instances of Christmas, okay? There's Christmas songs, in Die Hard, so you would think that that would make a difference as well, I guess. Don't know what other kind of criteria something needs to be a Christmas movie. I think people just don't wanna like mash up genres because we have like an action movie that's also a Christmas movie. But like, we do that with Christmas movies and rom-coms all the time, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of Hallmark movies that are just, set in Christmas and there's a Christmas tree and somebody does some ice skating or whatever and it's a Christmas movie all of a sudden but really it's about it being a romantic comedy you know what I mean you know what I mean so I don't think there's any reason why Christmas and action movies can't jive together but they literally have Christmas songs in it it being Christmas is part of the setting setting of the scene it's a Christmas movie it's about Christmas they put a Santa Claus hat on one of the dead guys. It's part of the setting of the scene. Now, that in Home Alone, it is more part of the rising action, more of the, the theme, because family leaves to go to Paris and leaves Kevin home alone. Um, should I be saying spoilers about Home Alone? Should I be like, I feel like at this point, you should have already seen it. When did Home Alone come out? Pretty sure Home Alone came out before I was alive. So if I'm saying spoilers to Home Alone, then I don't know what other criteria y'all feel like a Christmas movie needs to have to be considered a Christmas movie. Uh, does Santa Claus need to be directly involved? Does Santa Claus need to be mentioned? Does there need to be more than one Christmas song played? Does there need to be a Christmas tree in every other scene? Is that what is that what y'all need for it to be considered a Christmas movie? Because if that's so, then Home Alone definitely ain't it. And the only thing that really counts is like Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle's awesome, by the way, if y'all haven't watched it on Netflix. I'll leave it with this. Bruce Willis said this with his words. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. It's a goddamn Bruce Willis movie. And I'll leave you with that. <laughs> If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get a notification every single time I post a new video. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below if you think that Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not. I obviously think it is. I don't know what else y'all feel like it needs to have to be a Christmas movie, but I feel like I feel like it definitely is one. You guys have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever it is that you are in the world. You're loved by me. I will see you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what that was, but it's okay. Welcome to the Christmas tour of my house because literally no one is coming over to my house during the Christmas season and I want people to see it. Okay, so this is the Christmas tree that I found in the basement of my house that I rent. It's a very, very nice Christmas tree. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful. So this is the nice Christmas tree. We got a little duck ornament on there. This is the hashtag duck squad. Okay, we got a little nice one. This is where all the Christmas presents to like my family uh, goes. And then we've got the kids stockings. I got a baby Yoda stocking. I got an Avenger stocking. We've got these sparkly ones for the girls. Okay, and then I got this little, little nutcracker. Look how cute he is. 
Look at, I'm not pointing to him, but he's like cute and he actually works. Like he's moving, moves in the back, but he's sparkly. Um, and then I got this little box. It looks like a gingerbread house. And this says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I don't know if it's turned around. I don't know if you can read it, but you could, there it is. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. This is where all the kids put their letters to Santa in. So that's super cute. Then I got this little Penguin Lodge. I don't know why I got all these boxes, but I keep referring to this as the Penguin Lodge. It says Penguin Lodge on there. And I keep referring it to it as that. Oh, I got my hair stuck. Oh God, oh God. And I got this cute little, little guy. I got this from Big Lots. Look at him. I imagine you could put things, this little spirally thing. So then we come over here and I've got Christmas tree number two. This is my normal Christmas tree um, that I have. This is where we put all the kids' Christmas presents. So this has got all like the funky ornaments on it and stuff. But all the kids' Christmas presents are under here because they would not fit on the other side. So that's the Christmas trees. You can see my box light for when I film auditions. All right, and then I've got my pride and joy. And I don't want y'all to laugh at me about this. Where you at, bro? Turn on. Okay, but I made this wreath. Now it kind of looks, it kind of looks jacked up because it's not lighting up. Cause it's like, it's light outside. If it was dark, obviously you would be able to see a more accurate uh, representation of it. But I made this wreath and I'm actually real proud of it. I don't think there's anything Chris else Christmas related that I can show you. I think that's all the Christmas that there is. I think that's all the Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody.